Hey, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to install the Phantom Crypto Wallet using Chrome on a Windows 10 PC. Phantom is a crypto wallet very similar to MetaMask and other crypto wallets that are add-ons or extensions for your browser. And this can actually be installed on not just Chrome, but it can also be installed on Brave, Firefox, and Edge. Basically, Chromium browsers. On the website, those are the four that have been officially announced. And that's what we're gonna be taking a look at today, and we'll get started right now. So I'm here at the desktop of my Windows 10 computer. I'm gonna open up my Chrome browser and inside Google, I'm just gonna type in Phantom App. And right, as you can see, we have phantom.app as the official URL, which is the official URL for this website. If we click on it, we have the option to add it to Chrome right away. So we can just select that and click on it. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna, it's gonna take us to the Chrome web store. And then we can have the option in the top right hand corner that says add to Chrome. So when we click on this, we say add extension, it's gonna download a file to your computer, and then it's automatically gonna to try to install it into Chrome. So we see it pop up there, and then we get the option to create a new wallet. So right now we're gonna go through the configuration phase of creating a new wallet for Phantom. So we're gonna begin the setup by creating a new wallet, but if you already had one, you can use the recovery phase right there and click on that. So right here, here's the, for the recovery phase for the new wallet, and all you have to do is you just have to copy this and put it somewhere safe. So I'm just gonna quickly put it in Notepad and save it on my desktop for now. But what you really wanna do is keep it safe and secure. So make sure you keep this secret recovery phrase somewhere safe where no one else can see. So now that you have it saved, you can click on, okay, I've saved it somewhere, and then move on to the next step. The next step would be to create a password. Now what you wanna do is you wanna create a somewhat tricky password, alphanumeric with some capitals and lowercase letters and numbers, symbols, just jumble it up Go ahead and type it in there. Remember it, keep that as well in a safe spot. And then you can click on, I agree. If you want more information about it, you can click on the terms of services and then click on save. Now to get to the shortcut for the Chrome extension, you can hit the Alt key, Shift and P, and it'll pop up in the right hand corner when you do this. And that's just where it is right now. Now it's not pinned, it's just in your browser. So you actually have to go to this little puzzle piece in the top right hand corner to get access to it. As soon as you click away, it disappears. And when you click on that, you'll see that Phantom is listed in here as one of my extensions. And then you can click on the pin. And when you pin it down, that means it's always gonna stay in that one spot. So you close out of it, you can jump around to different pages and you'll always have access to it. So we're all done. You can see that you have the notification to follow them on Twitter and Discord, which is great for support or know what's going on in the community. And then when you're completed this, you can just click on finish. Okay, so we're done. So now what we can do is just take a look at some of the wallet features. And like any other crypto wallet, you have a send and receive option. So you can send crypto and receive crypto. I don't have anything in this wallet because obviously I just created it, but let's take a look at the receive. When you click on the receive button here, you have the option to send from your wallet. You click on the first option here, you get your wallet address to deposit something and you're sending from your exchange here. You can just click on copy and you'll copy your wallet address. You can give that to anybody. If they can scan this QR code, they'll also get the same address. And basically that's how you receive crypto from any other source. So I have nothing in my wallet, as you can see, there's zero balance. Um, but if I were, wanted to send it, I can click on send and I can put in somebody's wallet address and then send some Solana from here as well. Next, we have a list of tokens. And if we wanna manage the list, we can click on this option right here and we can turn on and off different type of tokens that we want listed. It's essentially creating a shortcut for it. So what I can do is I can just turn on Ape right now. I'll just click on it. And when I close out of this, you'll see it populate in the list. You can have many in this list. They're basically shortcuts for that crypto. If you click on it, you have the options to send and receive. You get a unique address and you can send and receive crypto specifically for Ape. And you can also do this for anything else that's listed in your wallet. And to manage it, you click on that and you can add it into your wallet. If you unselect it, you're just removing the shortcut from the list. So let's take a look at the next option, which is gonna be your collectibles. When you click on this, any NFTs or anything else that you have will be, will be saved right here and you have quick access to it, whether you wanna send and receive it, you'll also just be able to have a list of everything that you own. And in here is basically a swap. And this is very similar to MetaMask. You can swap your Solana for anything else. And you can actively do that right here by selecting it in the list. And below you have slippage. You can adjust your percentage and it gives you estimated fees. And then you can review your order and submit it right off, 
right from the wallet. Right in the next one is their re recent activity. Anything that you do on the blockchain recently will be listed here. I'm not too sure how far back it goes, but all the transactions would be listed here. And then lastly, we have the settings. Inside settings, you have an address book where you can store commonly used addresses. If you're sending someone the same amount of money over a period of time, it might just be easy to have their address in the address book. And then below that, we have trusted apps. Anything that's been installed that's trusted will appear here. You can also remove it from here as well. And below we have that, we have the change your password. So you click on this and you can change the password for your wallet as well. And then below that you have the auto lock timer. So what this is, is if you leave your wallet uh, idled or your computer idled, you can set the period of time that you want it to be idled for and save it so it automatically gets locked. So no one has access to it, just in case you walk away from your computer. Lastly, over here, we have the network. We have four of the networks are listed, including your local host. Uh, you can switch in and out of these whenever you please. And then you have the option to export your private key. Now this is specifically if you wanna take your wallet and use it on another device. So what you need to do is you can export your private key your, and use your secret phrase. And then you can use that exact same wallet on a different computer and then it'll automatically populate everything that's related to it. So that's how we install the Phantom Crypto Wallet on Chrome on a Windows 10 PC. If you found that useful, please drop a like. If you're looking for other crypto guides on wallets, miners, or anything related to crypto, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.